What's up guys? This is uh, Arizona Auditor here. Um, just watched another video. A couple of uh, I have videos actually of this interaction. Um, as you can see on my screen, uh, this one's from Time to Stand. Uh, there's a couple of guys there. Um, Womp, DJ Womps. Um, uh, I originally saw the video on PNP News. Uh, big fan of both of these guys. Um, DJ Womps, I'm not I'm not very familiar with, but uh, I will be. Um, I support all you guys doing this for the for the cause. Um, but I think uh, really what what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this uh, Supervisor Rocha here and find out what's going on. Um, these guys are protecting our rights coming into the border, and uh, the first thing they decide to do is violate them. I mean, if you're allowed to walk through an area, meaning it's public access, you're allowed to film. Um, I understand there's loitering laws. However, you know, loitering laws apply normally if you have no purpose and you're just standing there. However, if these guys are working on a story, they're documenting what they're doing, you know, that, that normally that, that does not apply with the, uh, with, uh, the loitering law. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, make a quick phone call here. See if we can get a hold of Supervisor Rocha and, uh, see how that goes. Hi, I'm looking to speak with uh, Supervisor Rocha. Who's I'm just a concerned citizen. What's your name? I'm a concerned citizen. So the concerned citizen have a name? Uh, absolutely, but I'd like to remain anonymous. I'd like to speak to the supervisor. She's not available. Would you put me through to her voicemail? She doesn't have one. Hey, is there another supervisor on staff that I can speak to? Sure, hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. All right, guys, let's try that again. Hey, you know. Hello, uh, I'm looking for Supervisor Rocha. Supervisor Rocha? She's not in right now. Um, is there another supervisor I can speak to? Yeah, my ass is speaking. Um, it's just a concerned citizen. I need to know who you're going to be talking to and where are you calling from? I'm a concerned citizen in regards to a, an incident that happened with your department. Um, I have a right to regress and to express my feelings towards you guys. Um, okay. I just like to speak to a supervisor in regards to the experience that I that I've just uh, that I just had. Okay, did this, were you the one uh, actually involved in the incident? Um, well, I'm a concerned citizen and you guys are work for us, the public, we the people. So I'd like to regress. No, but wait. Because you're, you're talking about something that happened, right? Absolutely. So were, were you involved in the actual, were you one of the parties that was involved? Do I need to be involved to speak to a supervisor in regards to an incident? I'm just, I'm ah. just trying to, I need to get all the information before I, I give it you the, to talk to the supervisor. All, all I want to do is just speak to to a supervisor in regards to some of your policies and, and things of that nature. It's nothing specific. Um, I don't think uh -huh. providing my information is necessary. Okay, that's fine. If you don't want to, you know, just, I just want to know why you're calling, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I, it's just in regards to policies and uh, and um, just a, kind of the conduct of, the, of some of the officers. Okay, just hold on, okay? Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, who am I speaking yes, with? I'm sorry? Who am I speaking with? I'm an officer. Who am I speaking with? I'm just a concerned citizen. I was looking to speak to a supervisor. 
Okay, well, I'm an officer here. So. Yeah. Can I, can I, I speak? Free, can I speak to a supervisor? There's no supervisor here. I'm the officer in charge. All right. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? I'm a supervisor here, sir. Officer in charge here. All right. And what is your name? I, I will gladly give you my name if you give me your name. Sir, it, you, you work for us, sir. I mean, you're a public servant. I'm not a public servant. Your policy states that you have to identify yourself. I mean, let's not play this uh, game. I'd like, to, I'd like to see that policy, sir. Okay. I definitely can send an email to the supervisor and, uh, and with the policy and... Uh, you know, we can go that route. That's not a problem. My my, my thing no, is, what, I just what, what, what can I do for you, bro? I mean, what is it you calling about? Is, is this how you treat the public when they call you, man? I'm just asking. I'm just asking if you're calling because you're arguing me about something. I'd like to know that. The, I, the, I just want to know who I'm speaking to. How, of your call. I don't understand how I'm arguing. I just want look. I, I don't want this to escalate. I just want to know who I'm speaking uh, to. I'm, I'm just. I, I definitely would like to help you. I just really would like to know what you're calling so, about. Okay, so just this is in concerns to the video released about the border patrol. Uh, violating camera photographers' rights. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with the video that I'm speaking of? Well, this isn't Border Patrol. The Border Patrol is a different agency. Well, this is Customs. I'm sorry. Customs, right? Customs, yes. Absolutely. Correct. Okay. So it was Customs that violated the photographers' rights. So you're free, are you familiar with the video on, uh, in, in question? I am not, sir. I am not. Okay. So there's a couple of photographers. I suggest you go on YouTube. It's very, very easy to find. Um, there was a couple of photographers filming uh, where the public's allowed to be, which is in a public area. And there was you guys rolled like 40 deep to take these guys off. Um, and so I just want to know what's what what is your policy on filming? Are, are you guys against filming? Uh, are, you good, are, are you guys against the First Amendment? What's going on with that? I'm not sure about that because federal property is, is, is governed by um, General Services Administration. And they're the ones that govern and, and oversee all the federal buildings and federal property. Absolutely. But. Um, you do realize that the First Amendment allows us to press. As long as you're in a public venue, you cannot trespass the eyes. Anywhere you can be where you're allowed to be as a, as a public member, uh, just as I the people. That that, I do believe that when it's, when, it's, when it's government property, the rules change. And just like it, it's, it's like it's considered almost private property. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. In 2010, 2010, so we're, this is 2018. 2010, DHS released a memo on all federal property where photography is allowed. Um, there's nothing against that. You're allowed to film anything that's federal as long as you stand on a public, on public property. Like I said, like I said, I, I don't work for GSA. Um, they're the ones that oversee all federal property and federal buildings. I don't. I'm not too savvy about the rules of what, what they they enforce and what they don't. So uh, you have to bring this up with general. Services administration, I, this has nothing to do with, with Border Patrol or Customs. Well, I mean, I understand that, but I mean, I'm pretty sure as long as, they, I mean, they, they might manage it, but Customs is the one that came out and violated the, the photographer's rights. So, I mean, it, it kind of mm -hmm. does have concerns with you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, and, and again, just this is just to spark a conversation with you guys, man, because this, I mean, you guys violating people's rights like that, it's not right. I mean, and with the people, I mean, this is, there's thousands of people doing this, man, on a daily basis. Um, and it's just, you know, I mean, rather than acting right, you guys just want to provoke, you know, it's 40, 40 deep for like four photographers. You know, they, you literally, literally push them off the bridge. Um, well, I haven't, I, like I said, I haven't seen the video. I've, I received calls all morning long about it. Some people were like, "Hey, you, the, the, did you see the beginning of the video when they they instinct they, they they verbally say we're going to try to get ourselves arrested?" And some people call saying like, "That was a right of them." I haven't seen the video. I really don't want to waste my time watching it. Um, some people were like, "Hey, they were wrong. They instigated it." And some people were like, "You guys are wrong. You instigated it." So I don't know. Yeah, I, I, you know, and this is not an attack to you guys. I hope you don't feel that way, or I'm not coming across no, like I know. that. I mean, I. I Honestly, I wasn't there. I don't know. I just, I've been receiving phone calls back and forth, so I'm just kind of like, I'll hear you out. But, I mean, it's nonstop all day long. So yeah, I, no, I, I and I have nothing. I have nothing to do with that incident. I have nothing to, over that. I don't really have a say in that. Absolutely. I no, I understand. Look, it, it's, 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 it's all about an education, man. I mean, I would definitely suggest if you're taking these calls, I mean, at least understand yeah. why the people are calling. You know I don't what know I mean? Why they, somebody posted this, that number on here. And this, has, this is a completely whole different area that we work in. So we're receiving calls. We don't even work right there on the, on the border. But we are associated with Customs and Border Protection. However, we don't, I have nothing to do with that area. So, I mean, well, I'm I, just hearing you out, man. You know, and, I, I appreciate the ear, man. I, I really do. And yeah, again, this is not, I mean, we're, we're not, 
I, I understand. People are people. Sometimes yeah. they get, you know, emotional. But, I mean, some yeah. of us, the, the reality is it's, it's, it's we the people getting together, man, and, and really yeah. fighting for our rights. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. and, and just staying united, you know. And, and that's what we're doing. Um, but okay. by any chance, would you mind, or if you have that available, would you mind sharing the correct number so that people can be directed to the right people? Six five two? Nine nine six six. Nine nine six six. And that's six one nine area code as well? Correct. All righty, awesome man. Well, uh again, man, thank you for your time, for your ear and uh and letting me express, you know, kinda how we feel. This yeah. is just a little bit part of, uh, of what we do, but uh I definitely um I'm gonna be redirecting some of those calls to the right places and, and we wanna get to the right people. We wanna get to the bottom of this and, 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 and really educate them as to uh, what we the people our rights are you know what I mean of course all right course. man well thank you for all your right, time you. and uh, I hope you have a great day stay safe out there man thank you too sir thanks thank you. bye bye thank you. all right guys you heard that from uh, straight from their mouth um, I guess this is the number this number doesn't have a lot to do pertaining to them they are getting a lot of calls so um, again I'll be posting that number with the description on that video if you guys want to call that new number as well um, Arizona auditor here. Um, hope you guys, everybody has a great, a great day today. Okay. Bye.